Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today I will be checking out what is possible inside Holiday Gifts for 2022 December Holidays. So, I did crafted 1000 of those. If you are like, want to ask how is it possible? That's a custom server, so it doesn't really matter. I will not be able to use it in adventure at all, but it's perfect for testing purposes. Now, I'm using character that's level 53, and I dropped everything he owned with exception of weapon because we'll get ammo, so I want one type of ammo. No armor, no apparel, no food, no aid, apart from those holiday gifts. Miscellaneous as empty as it can be. No holotapes, no nodes, no junk, no mods, no ammo, and... Yes, it is exactly 1000 handmade holiday gifts, so craftable ones. The standard one, because that's the best value, and you want to craft those if you want to unlock rewards, and it's exactly 1000. So it will be very easy to tell how much of which stuff you are getting on average per gift. So now I will be like trying to kill my keyboard and open all those gifts. I will save you the trouble and cut off this part and then I show you exactly what's inside. Oh, I'm opening those. I kind of forgot here about caps and script. It's included too. I will probably overrun with thousand. Okay, and now the rewards. Uh, first, I started with around 3000 caps, end up with 7500, but caps are not super important about the script. I was close to no script, I think it was 50, and now I'm at 5000, 5, and I hit 5000, what I was checking at about halfway, opening this 1000 gift. So I would say it's probably 10,000 script per 1000 gifts so 10 script each on average so now items let's start from weapons and there is a bunch of grenades i think those are mostly useless and not so many of those so that's not important armor no armor apparel and what is available apparel wise there is communist commander hat there is communist commander outfit. I'm pretty sure the, this stuff was already in the game. Jaguar pantsuit. Then tulip sky blue pantsuit. Then what else? That's it. So only those four types of outfits. So that's that's not much. I was expecting Santa outfits. No, not here. Next, food and drink. There is a lot of alcohols from those gifts and purified water. And yeah, I'm not impressed because I don't need those alcohols, but those are here. Next, under eight, lots of runaways and stim packs and some super stim packs. So not impressed by that either. Miscellaneous, this did not change. No holotapes, notes. So what are we getting and how many? We have Barb Wire Fences, Behemoth Balls Plushie. I will try to build those in a moment. Brahmin Plushie, Condemned Notification Sign, Deer Skull, Morat Wind Chimes, the mounted heads, I'm not interested really in mounted heads, but there is a lot of mounted heads. Then, Musket Stack Monument, Nuka Gear Area Rug, Princess Castle Pink Sleeping Bag, Red Racket Gas Pump Wall Light, Red Racket Gas Station Lamp, Red Track Sailing Light, Santa Crush, Standing Gorilla, uh, that seems to be very rare, as I have only one, unless it doesn't drop duplicates, I don't know that. Uh, tattered Curtains, Vintage Water Cooler, that's the very useful one. Wall Mounted Fan, Winter Icicle Light, so most of those plants, it's about 10 or a little bit over, so I would say 
drop rate is like one per 100 gifts on average and exception will be like those mounted heads mounted gorilla head other mounted heads just couple or one but there is just so many plans for mounted heads that i don't even know if i drop every single one out of this thousand so mounted heads limited junk some board games baseball baseball glove basketballs like standard i would say standard junk with some teddy bears as well a lot of coal uh, giddy up buttercup all pieces <laughs> chinese panda glue monkey yeah a lot of toy stuff all type almost all type of teddy bears more games okay i don't know if i should be impressed if any of those no mods about ammo it was twenty four thousand of 45 ammo so yeah on average 24 ammo per gift of 45 the quantity will vary depend on type of weapon you will have equipped and what ammo it's using so there's a lot of ammo now let's see some of those new items in camp and now i built a little bit of those new items and i'm wearing the communist outfit in here and now let's take a look that's a plushie for the brahmin then those are the fences some antlers the sign i attached the sign of course fences are without anything those are some new items like a gorilla in here i think there is other type of gorilla available too i only got this one in thousand gifts new Cola rug then that's a sleeping bag some uh, racks that you can unlock the red truck selling light of course it is functional like all the lights there is the santa crash uh, those icicle lights lightning blue red racket gas pump wall light the wall mounted fan they all function if you plug in the power red racket gas station lamp so after unlocking all those presents i think there is nothing new comparing to 2021 I'm quite certain those are all the same. Uh, the wall and roof is not included. I just used whatever was available. So those are all the rewards and free items I almost forgot to include. This is the musket monument. That's the big one. I don't even have concrete on this character to place it, but that's how it looks like. And there is the water cooler that is actually a very useful item because it is producing purified water, doesn't require power and can be placed basically anywhere. So that's the best item to produce purified water and that's the behemoth boss. So now I think I included everything that I have available. If you miss on any of those and you need them, that's your chance. If you didn't miss on any of those, there is still a decent amount of script inside those presents. So that's cool. And this being said, let me know what you think. Are you still missing any of those rewards? My main character has them all already, so I'm good. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.